This is the first episode of Tech Explained. My name is Dara and thank you for joining me. On this episode, we'll be talking about computers. First of all, let us define what a computer is. A computer, according to Wikipedia, is a device that is able to process and store information. The processing of this information is based on instructions that are given to this device from a program or an application, sort of. Uh, so as you can see behind me, I have a couple of computers uh, that are running. I have my phone, I have some other stuff around here. So these are sort of computers that I use every day. Um, so that is the definition of what a computer is. Now, let's take a little bit of history class, right? Um, the first set of computers that uh, came around were the abacus, or is the abacus, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it. So, the abacus is a device that uh, you're able to compute on it. Even though, yeah, it's not electronic, uh, but it's, you can do mathematical calculations in there, additions, multiplications, subtractions, and all this kind of stuff. Then, around the 19th, the 20th century, came around uh, the very big computers. These computers came that were used by the military. Uh, so we have them pretty big that have uh, filled the whole room. And of course, see the computer here, pretty small. Uh, I can carry it in my bag, but in the 1900, 19, the 20th century, this could be couldn't do that. So those are the kind of computers we have there. But as time went by, we were able to have smaller computers and so, as I like to call it, democratized computers, that people can have computers around them wherever they go. So, so we have the likes of the Abacuses, the ENIACs, the so those are the um, electronic uh, something something integrated computers you can give them that definition. Uh, so we also have the, the mainframe computers which are pretty large. So the central computers where everybody comes to get a set of slots to use these computers. And then the era of personal computers came where everybody could have a computer in their homes and be able to use them. Now, let's talk about kind of computers because that's actually what I'm going to delve into in this episode. So, uh, we have personal computers and these are computing devices that uh, we can carry all around us. We have it in our homes, in our offices, and in our churches and they are compared to our mainframes or supercomputers they are affordable, sort of. Uh, you can buy them for a few hundred dollars or some hundreds of thousands of naira or tens of thousands of naira, as the case might be. Uh, so, an example is what I have here. Even though we have these are pretty expensive devices, but of course, if you get the right money, you're able to buy it for yourself. Um, also, we have phones and tablets. So, I got my phone here, I got a lot of phones here, and we have computers that. Um, sort of look like this, even though I wouldn't categorize this as a tablet because it's a pretty powerful device, uh, but yeah, that is uh, what you can do. It is a computer that can do instruction, so those fall into that use of phones and tablets. Uh, so mostly these runs are mobile operating systems compared to computers that run uh, more advanced operating systems are on them. We also have IoT devices, IoT simply means Internet of Things. And these are devices that uh, can communicate over the internet. We also have virtual reality devices and mixed reality devices. These devices, uh, so they have the other system coming in their modes. It can be uh, augmented by using your phone on them uh, and stuff. Uh, so these devices are actually the sort of wear on your head. Uh, a couple of example, uh, we have the HoloLens, we have the Google Cardboard. I'm not sure what happened to it. And of course, we also have servers. So let's just build a little bit into it now. So talking about personal computers, uh, they are devices uh, that run sort of every operating system. Um, so uh, a device like a Lenovo and HP or stuff would run a Windows operating system. Uh, so Windows operating system is by Microsoft. Um, so these devices run them, uh, like what I have here, that is that the latest version of Windows, of course, right now is Windows 10, and this goes in with the series like every four and the ones or so. And of course, I have another one here. We also have the Mac, uh, and that is made by Apple. Uh, so Apple makes computers, and they have the operating system that is called the Mac OS that runs on uh, Mac laptops, desktops, 
and on machines. We also have Linux. So Linux is the free and open source version. Yeah, of course we have the, some paid versions of Linux. Yeah, it's the free and open version of operating systems. Uh, the usability of these different operating systems differ and it's based on preference of users or the company policies uh, that is using these devices to them. So those are the three main categories of operating systems we have on personal computers. Then going into phones and tablets, like what I have in my hand right here, this is an iPhone 7. And the one I have here is an Nokia 7.2. So this runs Android operating system and this runs the iOS operating system, I think version 13.15. I'm not too sure now. And yeah, so these are phones and uh, a bigger device. So in terms of phone factor now, I could have something like 10 inches. And that would be my iPad, or I could have a Samsung tablet or an Infinix tablet that runs Android operating system, but on a larger form factor. And uh, that would be a tablet. So, a major, uh, <laughs> a major wording that people mostly get wrong is you say drop up. So most times when I travel, I say drop your iPad, drop your stuff. I'm like, I don't have an iPad, but I have a tablet. Yeah, but oh, okay, we got two bushes. We're talking about that, but just coming around and having some fun around this. Uh, so that's most some tablet for you. Also, we have IoT devices. IoT, as I mentioned earlier, is Internet of Things. So th these devices actually communicate uh, over some sort of network, maybe over the internet or your own network. So, for example, say you have a sprinkler that comes up every 6 a.m. in summer to water your garden. Or you have a bulb around that every time you get on turns on by itself at a particular time at, in the night, it goes off by itself. They are sort of smart because there are some sort of instructions that is given to them to run. And most of these devices are connected over the internet. There are thousands and billions of them across the world. So, yeah, so those, those are IoT devices. Also, you have uh, the likes of your Alexa and Google phones, the smart bulbs, smart fridges, smart watches like the one I have are uh, right here on my hand. And I talk a little bit about the under of much into this VR and AR devices. Those are devices that uh, you use them to uh, project an environment or yeah, an environment of what you want to see. Uh, so and it has very wide applications either in gaming or medical research or uh, training. It just has a whole lot of applications that I cannot delve into in the concept in the context of this video. Uh, also, we have servers. So, for example, where you're watching this video from right now, it is streaming from a server somewhere. So, those are some kind of computers. They are more powerful than the guys that I have already here behind me because they are built to be able to manage multiple requests, thousands and millions and billions of requests that hit them every second, every minute, and every time. And those are other types of computers. So, with that, I've come to the end of this episode of Tech Explain. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't already, I would say you should subscribe to this channel so you can get notifications when I post new videos. Tell your friends and family about this. This is going to be an exciting long ride. Thank you for joining me. See ya.